Hello, everybody. Now, it's uh, been a little while since I uh, did one of these, so I figured I saw this, and I figured why not? Because uh, this is something very original. This is a Quick Trip exclusive. Now, Quick Trip is a chain of gas stations, primarily in the Midwest, like uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, I'm not sure about Illinois offhand. And if you're in Idaho, I believe it's Quickstar. I don't know if you can get this from Quickstar or not, but Quick Trip, yes. Uh, I guess this is a series. I had no idea they had a series of brew. They must have some sort of change it now and then. But we are looking at the hot spot hazy IPA. So, this is from a Carbon 4 Brewing from Madison. Ah, yes, let, let me give, do a little instru introduction since it's been so long since I did this. Now, uh, my little brewskis are a little thing where I take a look at beers from America's Brewland, Wisconsin. We are the drink estate, which means, obviously, we must know something about our beers. Uh, 6.5 alcohol, one pint, New England style India Pale Ale. Ooh, that sounds like cultural appropriation to me. <laughs> so, look, we got some reading to do. It's like a back of a cereal box. I'm gonna have to do a back of can review for this. Huh. All right, it's been said. Home is where the hot spot is. Quick Trip 2018. Um, so, uh, hot spot, are you referring to the bedroom or the furnace or what? It has also been said, hold my beer, meaning just before the great mistake of 2002. That must have been the copyright reflecting on the rides right there. Listen, if you came to this label seeking sage advice, you're barking up the wrong tree. What we can offer is a beautiful brew that will pair perfectly with any tasty treat from the hot spot. See you next time. And uh, we have mascots for things you can get from the hot spot. Like we've got Pretzel Dan. Glazer bean. Sausage biscuit bro. The hot dog. Pizza man. And today, for $2.99, you can get their Angus, whether you want the cheeseburger, the bacon cheeseburger, or the mushroom and Swiss. It's their, it's on sale. Also, for $2.99, you can get the, one of their croissant sandwiches. It's a steal. All right, let's crack this bad boy open, shall we? Help me uh, maybe forget, forget the label and all the other terrible things I've seen lately. Yeah, I don't know anything about this beer. Very citrusy, at least right now. That head is dissipating quite quickly. It's 
not very dark. It's, it's not a dark blue at all. It looks it looks like a standard, you know, what you'd expect from a lot or something. Maybe a little cloudier. Not really looking like if the heads are staying on at all. You know, clean to the side of the glass, I mean. Hmm. Alright, now, smell from here. Mm hmm. Still smells the same. Some, sometimes the smell just changes a lot when it's open area between something closed like the can, but here it's smelling pretty much identical. Citrusy, not very florally. It's been a while since I did one of these, but I got a backlog. I got at least six episodes that I recorded, but never put online, so I should do that. They're from a few years old, so the next, uh, some of the next upcoming segments of this, you might see me with two additional strands of hair that I don't have right now. All right. Well, let's, let's try this thing. Maybe not quite as citrusy as I was expecting. It's a bit more of a mild, a little milder than other pale ales I've had. Still, of course, very hoppy, as one should expect from this type of beer. I remember the first time I had a pale ale. It totally caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting anything like it. It can be a bit of a required taste. If you are used to, you know, standard, you know, Miller, Bud. But these are something if you want a little bit more kick. Not too bad. I don't have anything from the hot spot to try pairing it with, but I'm sure they're right. I mean, it's hard to find things that beer doesn't go with. I mean, too bad it's not a Wednesday. Every once a, once a month on a Wednesday, they have their pizza slices for set on sale. It used to be a dollar. Now it's about 29. They have pretty good pizza at Quick Trip. I like it. They get some special flavors every now and then tailgate pizza or whatever it is. Mm. That's a good one. It's got cheese curds on it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're obviously not from Wisconsin. <laughs> it's pretty good though. Mm. And so is this beer. 
That's not too bad. It's it's a pale ale. I mean, there only seems to be really so much you can do. But yeah, it's it's still mild in it also, but otherwise it's a pale ale. If you had them, you you got an idea what to expect. It's more of a citrusy flavor than a florally though. At least that's what I'm tasting right now. So, yeah. Well, if you ever stop at a quick trip, check it out. I mean, you're not going to get it anywhere else. So, well, that's it for this one. So, uh, I'll see you in the next one. So, take care. God bless everyone.